moaning. Today morning, everyone. Morning. Oh, let me just turn that down. So today is Friday, and we have got our swimming lesson today, haven't we, Archie? And then, that's right. Well, they can't. Just play. Hang on, let me move. So there we go. They can see you now. I'm going to swimming and swimming. I'm going swimming and soft play. That's right. Yeah, you're going swimming and soft play. So today's a bit of a, I don't know really, a, quite a nice lazy day because Archie's got his swim lesson this morning and we've promised him he can go soft play because he loves that place. What child doesn't? And then also we are going to go to a local lavender field this afternoon and hopefully get some lovely photos um, and just have a bit of a, a run around really, yes, and explore. Yeah, there's loads of people in soft play. Today, I'm just on my way to take Archie to... No, there's one people in the soft play. All right, one people in the soft play. Be careful. Hello and welcome to another vlog. I feel like I'm finally getting back in the swing of filming these and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I've had a super productive morning, which... I'll be honest, hasn't been happening that much recently. I've been just feeling a little bit crap and obviously like having the, the baby and everything, like I feel like your motivation just like dips a bit. Um, but this morning, got up with Elliot because he got up at half five. Wouldn't have chosen to get up at that time, but he was up at half five and then I fed him and then we all went downstairs. Um, and yeah, basically before it hit, I think it was like half past nine, yeah, maybe nine, half past nine. I'd had my breakfast, a shower, put all my makeup on, done my hair, um, fed the baby, edited a video, uploaded the video. Um, it, and it probably doesn't sound like a lot. Like, I'm not expecting, like, a pat on the back for any of that. It's just normal adulting life stuff. Um, but I'm really proud of myself <laughs> that I actually got all of that done, like, so early in the morning. And it makes you feel so much better for the rest of the day as well because... Now I have a lot less to do today and we're going to pop out in a little while. Hopefully I'm going to get to a lavender field. Why is it so hard? <laughs> I really want to visit a lavender field before all the lavender's harvested. But I'm just, I don't know if it's going to happen so we'll see. Ricky and Archie have gone swimming so hopefully when they get back we can have a bit of lunch and then go out for a bit I think. I've had a delivery that I'm rather excited about. Um, it's from Mango and it's a whole box of summery stuff. I don't know whether I'll end up keeping it all. I think I might do a haul video or a try on or something. I'll quickly show you a little sneak preview. So this is the stuff that I got. Most of it was in the sale. Not all of it, but most of it. Does anyone know if Mango is owned by the same company as Zara? Because it just, it really reminds me of Zara, but... I don't know. Is that just me? Anyway, so I'm going to try on a few of these dresses. Um, mainly dresses. And this is a mega summary, like... Um, what does reprise mean? Anyway, this is a mega summary uh, play suit. Which is probably meant more for the beach than anything. But I love the pattern on it. And then, yeah, the rest are all dresses. So hopefully they fit me. Okay, sorry about the mess in the room. I wasn't planning on doing a little try on, but um, I really, really love this. It's so pretty. I love like this frill detail here. The only problem with it is, it's really, really sheer and really see-through. So like you need to wear a slip or something under it, which is just really annoying. Um, but I don't know, I actually really like it. It's a shame I have to wear breastfeeding bras all the time at the moment because the back is really open. I don't know if you can see that. But mum problems. I don't know if it's coming out as nice on the camera as it is in real life. But I really, really love it. So I'll just get something to wear under it. And hopefully I'll get the chance to wear it a few times this summer. Because I think I got it in another colour as well. <laughs> so this is the same as the one that I just tried on. But this is in an extra small. And it definitely fits better on, um, on the sleeves and things like that. On the straps and stuff. So, if they are still available, I'll link them below if they are. I'm not sure what sizes they'll still have because they're in the sale. Um, but I would size down maybe in them. Just so they fit really nicely. 
Okay, so I flipping love this one as well. Look at the sleeves on it. It's so cute. So pretty. I love the colour and I didn't know if I would like this bit because um, I never really get things with some, like tie necks and stuff because I'm not sure that they suit me. But I think it's actually really cute and it definitely adds a lot to it. Um, so oh, I'm so glad this looks nice because I've seen it on a few people on Instagram and it's just so pretty. Um, but I guess you could wear it without this as well. And it's just a sort of v-neck style. Um, but yeah, I can't believe how much I like everything that I got so far. It's so cute. So I feel like to wear this, I need to be on Love Island or something. <laughs> but no, I definitely need to go on holiday to wear this one. I don't really know why I got it. This was the only full price item that I got. But I was just obsessed with the pattern on it. And I just thought, maybe if I get it, it will spur me on to actually go on holiday somewhere. But I do that every year. And I never actually end up getting to go anywhere. Um, but it's so cute. It's got the little frills on the leg. And like the sleeves again and it has a little hook and eye here and it's just kind of like it's very open so yeah you definitely couldn't like wear this walking down the road or something well I wouldn't anyway um but I really really like it and then finally this one is a little bit random it was only 9.99 I think um but it's like a little um I guess shift dress and it's made of quite a thick material so even though it's quite short maybe not best for summer days but I could see this looking really nice in the autumn winter with tights and boots and stuff so I am glad that I got it and I don't know if it's picking up on camera but it has a sort of um like metallic-y um thread going all the way through it but they do this in a few different prints and I just thought it looked quite nice so I picked that up and do you know what I think I just I think I like everything apart from maybe I don't know that one that doesn't fit me but maybe I'll make it fit I don't know <laughs> so that turned into a little try on video um I don't know if you even like me doing things like that in a vlog or if you'd rather me keep that separate to an actual haul video but if you do then let me know in the comments and anytime I like buy anything I can show you guys but it feels really nice this is the first real proper like online shop I've had since I haven't been pregnant and I finally feel like I've got some like non-pregnancy clothes um which I've got to say does feel quite nice anyway I better go back downstairs because I think the boys will have finished their lunch now um and we need to go out Archie, yeah. can you catch something to give to Daddy for me, please? Yeah. Ready? Catch. Ah. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, handsome. <laughs> I love you. I'm not like that. Oh, okay. Sorry. Are you turn into a three-nager. You've got a month left. You've got a month left. Mummy, this is not swag. Okay, Archie. Mommy, Look at this little cutie. Mummy. With his little moccasins on, they're too Mommy. big for him. Mommy. And his little shorts. Mummy, this is not swag. Are you going to smile at me? This Are you going to smile? I love you. Are you going to smile at me? I love you. I love you. Um, but they look absolutely beautiful. I can't believe I didn't even know these were here. Um, I'm not sure if these are the ones we can see from our window, which I mentioned before, because this is quite away from our house. But it's the only ones I know of in the, in the area. So maybe it is the ones we can see from our window. It must be, because they're so big, so you probably can. <laughs> Remember sunsets in Boston Kissing yellow concrete We watched all of them together So we've just got back in the car That was a bit of a fail It was windy, the sun was in the wrong place All the photos are sort of like um, Washed out 
and they let you in the tiniest part of the field and they put this big purple pipe across it so you can't actually get like a really nice long photo so we might have to try and go somewhere else at some point but the boys are getting a bit let's go my alpha home the boys are getting a bit upset now as you can hear archie wants to go to soft play and we promised him we could go so i think we're gonna go there now so yeah it was a bit of a fail i'm really sad and archie is the only child here apart from one other child and he's just running around in his own like a lunatic and helping them tidy up so at least he's burning some energy Hello, so our camera ran out while we were out in the soft play and then we went to my mum and dad's and came home and both the boys were screaming and crying and bed and bath time was a bit of a nightmare tonight because especially Archie, he was very, very overtired but we've managed to get him to, to bed and to sleep and this little guy is asleep in his swing, snoring away. Oh, left him. But so. bedtime was hot. But bed, yeah, bedtime was hard tonight. But Bath time was tough. But Ricky's just made us a lovely dinner. We all did um, a Hello Fresh box this week, didn't we? Mm. And it's been so good. Yeah, we've had some good um, meals this week. And now we are enjoying watching Love Island. We catch up on last night's and we're going to watch tonight's after. And the best wrong. thing. What? I thought it said 10 to 15 millimetres, but when yes. my eyesight's so bad. It's 10 to 15 minutes. So basically, but I don't know why it would be. To, why would you want to cook ice cream for 10 to 15 cook minutes? Cook it. Well, what does it mean? Le it means. I think it means leave it out to. Oh, it um, confused me. It had a spoon on it. Basically, Ricky got. Let me just this. show you. Look. Let me show you. No, no one knows what you're talking about yet. Ricky got this, which is chocolate salted caramel Hagen Dazs, which. Oh my god, I'm so excited to eat. And he came in and he was like, you're only allowed to eat 10 to 15 millimetres of it at a time. And I was like, what are you talking about? He said, it says it on the lid. This is the lid. Oh, it's not focused. So basically, I think it just means you're meant to leave it out for 10 to 15 minutes to kind of um, soften up a little bit. And that's probably the optimum temperature and consistency for eating it. But... To be honest, I'm just going to eat it right now. So we're going to go and watch Love Island now. I'm going to go, but I'm going to carry on vlogging tomorrow or over the weekend because... Stop being annoying. <laughs> Hurry up then, I want to Because up. obviously I haven't vlogged that much today, but I'm going to shut up now. Hope you all have a lovely evening and we will see you tomorrow. Bye night. Are you chopping my toe off? Don't chop my toe off. Ow! Ow! No! Oh, I'm actually hurt. <laughs> it is horrible. It's wet and rainy and just not very nice. So I'm trying to think of what we can do today apart from chopping mummy's toes off. <laughs> so we've all just got ready. We are going to go to the Gruffalo Trail today. We've never actually been before and Archie is really, really excited. Where are we going? A grassland trail. Are you excited? Yes. What are you going to see there? Everything's going to follow us. The mouse is going to follow us? Yes. What, from the Gruffalo book? Yes. <gasps> That'd be exciting, won't it? All right then, should we go? Let's go. So we've come to the Gruffalo trail, we've arrived. Um, this is the one at Bedgebury, which I don't even really know where we are. I think we're in Tunbridge Wells. So it's really lovely here. We've only just got here, so we're excited to go on the Gruffalo Trail. Right, Daddy's got the app on his phone. We've got to find these paw prints, and when you see these paw prints, we have to hold the phone up, and we have to see what comes alive, yeah? So you look out for those paw prints for me. Wow. I love how the boys have both got wellies on and I've got my sparkly drills. <laughs>
we're just on our way home now. We had some lunch, but I forgot to vlog that. And it is now pouring with rain. So we just missed the rain, thank goodness. Elliot's crying, so hopefully he's gonna go to sleep in a minute. Um, so yeah, it's pouring with rain, so there's not much else to do this afternoon apart from go home and have a cozy afternoon in. We might make some cookies, watch a film and snuggle under some blankets. And we've also got to make Elliot's little, um, what are they called? Like foot impressions? in the mould thing. I don't know what that's actually called. Yeah, oh, foot mouldings. Yeah, you know, baby foot impressions, that kind of thing. So we're gonna go home and do that as well. Um, so yeah, it was actually a really, really nice little afternoon. I found the Gruffalo. Did you enjoy it, Arch? Yeah. Did you watch the Mighty Ducks? Yes, what? Ranking Ducks. Oh. What film should we watch when we get home? Ranking Ducks. Mighty Mighty ducks. Ducks. Okay. <laughs> I want like that. Oh, you want to watch Mighty Ducks? I like that. Mike. <laughs> Mike the duck. <laughs> Alright, you, you have a little nap and we'll wake you up when we get there. Mike, Mike's bus. Mike's bus. Mike's bus. It's like a bad game of Chinese whispers. We've gone from Mighty Ducks to Mike's bus. <laughs> so we're going to go home and watch Mike's bus. Archie? Yeah. So we're going to make some cookies from scratch, yeah? Can you put them on the baking tray for me? Yeah. One. Two. Three. They're not cooked yet. Yeah. My freshly home baked cookies are made. Just call me Mary Berry, what can I say? Where's that smile? There it is! Oh, that's a bit grumpy. Where's that smile gone? Where's that smile gone? Give me a tickle! Where's that smile? Right, so we've been watching the film for a little while and um, basically I'm doing this little job with Amazon which is for over on my blog. Um, and I'm making this baby foot mould, like the foot impression thing I was talking about because we're doing this little blog post about what we get up to on a rainy like summer afternoon and stuff so obviously we've been watching films and like eating cookies and stuff like what we would normally do when it's raining um, and I thought this would be a really nice idea to make this but I'm not exactly sure how to do it so I'm just going to give it a go, I think it's pretty self explanatory, it's just the clay in here and then you set it in there like in this little tin and it's meant to end up looking like that but you have to set it outside to hard of eight days so um yeah i'm just gonna give it a go and see what it turns out like i'm just praying archie doesn't spot it because he will want it and then i'll be in trouble just dug all my nails in it so not quite as profesh as that little one but I managed to get like the edging and everything so I'm quite pleased with that so I'm gonna go and see if he'll let us put his feet in it now but this is the result it's not brilliant <laughs> because it was quite difficult to get him to keep his feet still but I'm quite pleased with it I think this one turned out really good so yeah we just have to leave that to kind of set for about a week now I think so I'll put that, I think you have to put it in the sun. So we're currently just trying to have our Sunday roast that Ricky kindly made. But this little guy doesn't want us to, do you mate? No. Good night. So you see you soon. I've got my Gruffalo stickers. You've got your Gruffalo stickers. So we've had a lovely Sunday. It's been very kind of family orientated and cosy. And even though the weather's been rubbish, it's been really lovely even to go out for the Gruffalo trail as well, it's really nice. I've got this little guy here blowing bubbles and we're gonna try and get a little bit of a bedtime routine sorted for this one because we're really struggling in the evenings at the moment. He does not want to seem to go to sleep anytime before 
half past nine, which is really hard because um, we, we have so much to get done in the evening. Um, but hopefully it will come, you know, he's only eight weeks old tomorrow. I don't know where that time's gone. It's gone so fast. Um, but yeah, we will see you in our next vlog. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a little comment below if you did. I'd really appreciate it and I'd love to hear from you. Um, and we'll see you very soon. Bye guys. See you soon. <laughs>